Welcome to Real Mackay, the Scotland Today video blog. Going to have a quick chat here with Linda Grimes. Now, you'll be familiar with Linda as a producer of the Six O'Clock. She's doing a wee stint on the 5.30 show. Uh, Linda, last night was the first one. How did it go? Uh, well, last night, actually, Leslie, my co-colleague, oh. was kind of showing me the ropes. Right. Um, and it went very well. We had our new presenter on. Her, uh, Rachel's here for two weeks. Yep. It was Rachel's first day, my first day. So um, we kept each other company. And You know, you, you, went, you went for a very sort of soft touch issue. You went for sex addiction, uh, addiction your very first day, both of you. That, that, that's... Is that a statement of intent? Um, well, I don't know what you mean, John. <laughs> um, no, I just thought it was one of these kind of topics that yeah. people would, you know, really engage with, and I think that um, came across in the show. So your your preparation, we've spoken to you often enough about when you're doing the six o'clock. How's the approach to this going to be different for you? Um, it's not different in the sense that I'm, you know, one minute to a meeting and I'm still run, <laughs> tightening up my running order. I've been through all the papers. Um, I suppose the approach is quite different because the news you would come in and you'd often know these are the big news stories of the day. With the 5.30 show we're saying, you know, what do people want to see? There's an opportunity for us as journalists to get out there and get the stories that the viewers are talking about. But um, also we're looking at maybe more entertainment. I think that's what a lot of the viewers um, seem to be picking up on. They're enjoying some of the entertainment news, some of the kind of human interest features. Um, and we're just trying to capture that. So my job really is to get involved with the team uh, ask them what people are talking about, what in the papers, pull it all together and see what you know the kind of 5.30 team come up with by 5.30 uh, tonight. Now you were, a, you were a key part of the, the team that put together the, the old lunchtime programme. Are we going to see similarities? Are we maybe moving towards that sort of that sort of coverage, do you think? Or will it still have, it'll obviously have its own identity, but is it maybe moving towards that more, that, that, that's a way of uh, that, what that programme was? Yeah, I mean the old Scotland Today lunchtime was and it's you know, a massive success. It was one of the first programmes to come on to you know the Scottish TV channel like that it had a news agenda to some extent and could you know develop a breaking news story but primarily it was getting beyond the kind of key headlines when the 5.30 was launched recently we kind of had it quite quite news orientated but we feel now that the viewers are wanting more um, a bit more entertainment and I think yes I think to some extent you will see regular slots coming back regular faces and you know our presenters are a kind of key key development in that area so uh, yeah to some extent I would say we're using the best from the old lunchtime and the best from what 5.30 has at the moment and so it's a great programme to work on What are we looking ahead to tonight? Tonight some of the things I've got lined up um, Jerry's been up in Thursday wanting to um, do some surfing I hear there were no waves so we'll find oh, out yeah. more about that The Beard is back allegedly David oh. Beckham but no it is seemingly oh, <laughs> well yeah. it is well according to David Beckham yeah. um, Victoria Beckham as well um, yeah. there because we all follow their lead. Well, actually, I think, do we, John? No. Right, well, no. well, we'll see if the beard comes back on you. Um, I think Vicky will hit the streets. Um, Grand Theft Auto, this massive yeah, game hit. Yeah. That's massive. Um, I know I've got a teenage son who, who's been telling me all about it. <laughs> so, um, and wanting it. We'll be looking at the phenomenal of it, you know. And, and, you know, it's a fantastic success story for the Edinburgh based company. But for parents, what are, pa are parents concerned about this? Yeah. So we'll look at some of these issues. And we've got Russell Brand on the show, so that's just some of the... This is new movie, yeah. yeah. New movie stuff. OK, well, we better let you off of your meeting, but uh, yep. good luck with this evening. OK. Uh, we'll follow me around, we'll have a quick chat, just watch your feet there. We'll have a quick chat with uh, Rachel about her debut night. Um, so, Rachel, how did it go? Um, I was quite pleased. Um, Stephen was very kind to me, <laughs> guiding me through it. <laughs> Um, he's, he's looking for something back, obviously. There's, there's some no, I'm saying something nice about him, and he's not even here yet. Um, I was just hearing what we're we're doing tonight. Beards on men? No, 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 no. But you enjoyed it. I did enjoy it. Yes, and it was a really nice change from um, just doing the the short opts where I just. Um, read what's in front of me and I don't I, I'm just slotted in in such a tiny gap that you think oh, that's it but no I, I'm enjoying it um, and it was quite nice to have a break from editing as well sure but um, and the real Rachel came through the real Rachel what is the real Rachel who oh, is the real Rachel oh, don't oh, really? go there John okay, we'll back off. <laughs> maybe see, maybe see tonight at 5.30 uh, and also Scotland today again at 6 o'clock